Coming up on Rob on the Road, Hearst Castle and Ranch. Come along on the definitive tour of one of California's greatest treasures. <laughs> with a Hearst expert taking us behind closed doors Yay. of the marvelous mansion. California keeps taking my breath away. And later, a private backroads tour with the Hearst in charge of his family's ranch today. That is California. Rob on the Road starts now. And now, Rob on the Road, exploring Northern California. Welcome to a California treasure, Hearst Castle and Ranch in San Simeon. Hearst Castle was the country estate for media mogul William Randolph Hearst. The ranch surrounds Hearst Castle and is closed to the public, but you'll be joining us on a private behind the scenes tour hosted by William Randolph Hearst's great grandson, Steve Hearst. But first, let's begin by exploring a national and California historic landmark, the place that Hearst called La Cuesta Encantada, the Enchanted Hill. We have found the perfect guide for this show here at Hearst Castle. Ty Smith is the Chief of Museum Interpretations. Good to see you, Ty. Welcome to Hearst Castle. Thank you. It's great to be here. And all of that means Chief of Interpretations really is that you have access to everywhere. That's right. I have the, key. <laughs> I have the keys. You have the right. key. <laughs> you are going to show us the beauty of Hearst Castle. You're going to take us to the very top and inside the vault. Right, we're, we're gonna go behind the scenes and uh, explore all of Hearst Castle. Awesome. You wanted to start here because this is a special spot. Yeah, it, it's, it's really the most fitting place to start any tour of Hearst Castle. This is where his guests would have arrived uh, for the first time to the castle and uh, they would have walked right up these stairs and the first time they beheld the place would have been from right here. Well, we want you to feel like a Hearst guest today. So that's the tour we're giving you. Let's go. Let's go. All right, thanks. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a sight to behold. Probably the guests that were here had seen everything, or, or so they thought until they so got they here. Thought, yeah, you know. until they got here. It's massive. I'm, uh, you know, over 100,000 square feet and 48 guest accommodations. And then a number of entertaining rooms. You know, you have the grand formal spaces and sitting rooms um, for each of the guest accommodations. So there, there's a lot, of, a lot of real estate. I've seen well over 150 rooms for some totals. Yeah, I, I would say that's about accurate. Awesome. And this is one of the most famous terraces. You're going to hear the word view a lot in this show, and this is why. Well, you have, you have uh, terraces to host the views. I mean, that, that, that's their purpose. Uh, it wasn't just about the architecture. It was about the way the architecture was situated within the larger ranch here at San Simeon. And this is clearly why Hearst had people come up this way. He, he expected that you wouldn't be spending a lot of time inside. This was um, functioned a lot like a European country estate, and he wanted you to be out and about. And so he wanted you to be walking around these terraces. He wanted you to be out playing tennis. He wanted you to be out horseback riding, and maybe you were going down to the beach for a picnic. It wasn't about coming in and staying inside. Yeah, he wanted you to see this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he owned the view. Literally. <laughs> Literally, yeah. His ranch, uh, at the height of it, was 250,000 acres. And the Hearst family still owns the surrounding 82,000 acres. And even though Hearst himself said, this is about the views, there's so much inside. That is true. Um, it's not just about the views. It was also the perfect backdrop for his vast art collection. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was able to showcase a small percentage of uh, what he had um, here here at, at the ranch. Yeah, <laughs> which is, the ranch. Which, which is really the ranch and, and the, the Hilltop Estate really functions as um, a Mediterranean village. That was the idea. We've just walked off the terrace in front of the castle to the Neptune Terrace and voila. Overlooking the Neptune Pool. The Neptune Pool. Uh, there's no water in it right now. It used technology from the 1930s and so there's no liner in it. And so we've drained it and um, what you're seeing is preservation in action. Look at this, Ty. Wow. Casa Grande. The guest cottages are named for their views. Casa Grande is named for its size. Casa Grande. <laughs> <laughs> the big house. And it is. <laughs> this was started in 1919? 1919, yeah. Uh, I think William Randolph Hearst would have liked to build something up here earlier than that. But he um, finally had full control of the family fortune when uh, his mother's unfortunate death in 1919. She died during the worldwide influenza epidemic, the Spanish flu, they called it. 
And so he was 56 years old um, when he started to build his dream house here in San Simeon. How long did it take to build? Almost three decades and, you know, it evolved. It started out as one thing and it evolved into this. And uh, it wasn't a place that was just designed on paper and then built in concrete. It was designed and redesigned and built and rebuilt over, over those 30 years. At the time, a $10 million project? Yeah, about that. Um, you know, three and a half million for the art and then another six and a half million or so for the construction. Well, let's go inside. Yeah, we got to explore it. <laughs> yeah.